Hello. All right. Uh, let's get cracking and take a look at day four. All right. You're already on some point five kilometers for the surface. There's a giant squid. He wants to play bingo. Okay. Uh, bingo is played on the set of boards. Each is a single five by five grid of numbers. I know bingo. The submarine is a numbers and it's all in a row. Okay. Currently, you and the giant squid best time. <laughs> Uh huh. All right. The score of the winning board can be calculated. Okay, I think I got it. So this is our input. So here we go. Um, so we'll say, uh, I guess, how do we want to parse this? I guess we can start by saying, let uh, guesses uh, equals input dot split zero trim split on a comma and we'll say let's print out the guesses and um, okay so these are the guesses then the boards are um, uh, it's like everything after that. Right. Um, hmm. This is kind of messy, but let's do this. And so those are the boards, and then we'll say split on two line breaks. And right, so this should be the first board. That looks about right. Uh, right, so for each board, we want to say return uh, board dot split on new lines dot map. Uh, row dot split or row dot trim dot split on white space I guess um uh something like this uh, didn't spell it right. And hopefully that, yeah. Um, hmm. Maybe I didn't get that exactly right. Nope, did not get that right. Hold on.
All right, so this does look good. It's just that they're not numbers. So let's, what did I get wrong there? Um, oh, I guess this just actually needs to be inside of there. Did I get that right? Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> so this is, I guess we'll say, uh, an array of boards, and we'll say type board is itself an array of an, an array of arrays of numbers. So now we basically just want to say. Um, let winning board equals boards dot find and then we'll say if winning board else uh, I guess throw a new error no board found. Oh, and I guess I need to actually apply the guesses as well. So that's interesting. Um, all right, so let's come back and read this for a sec. So we've got after the first five numbers, after six numbers, finally 24 is drawn. Then by the number that was just called on the board one, figure out which board will win first. All right, so really what we now want to do is say, um, hmm, I guess this isn't what we want at all. We want to say, let's get rid of that for a sec. So we'll say guesses for each guess. Um, yeah, okay, great. So we'll, <laughs> uh, we'll basically go through boards that each for each board. And uh, board for each row, row for each value, and then basically um, I guess here we want to say um, board index row index value index basically if value equal equal guess then row row index uh, equals x great uh, right and then after the guess is applied we'll say if or I guess here we'll say if a board has winner, board break. We'll say console log found winner in board break is not a thing. Illegal break statement. Oh, okay. Maybe next is what I wanted. Or continue. What, what am I looking for here? Continue. How do you write JavaScript? Um, can I target jump? Can I target across? Well, I guess in this case we'll just say. Um, I mean, I'm not sure what we say. Um, whatever. We'll just we'll just console log it, um, and that'll be good enough. So let's define this board has winner function. 
const board has winner equals I am recording, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, what am what am I writing? This is gonna say uh, just board and uh, return a bool. Uh, type string is unsignable to type number. Okay, so maybe instead of x, we'll say negative one. All right, uh, bool is not a thing in TypeScript. It's good taste, better to use full words. Um, all right, so we'll say uh, for let has winner equals false. And uh, actually, I think this is gonna return um, Some of all unmarked numbers on that board. Okay, okay, so this just needs to return a boolean. That's fine, great. So basically, board for each row. Oh. Um, if row dot um, find value uh, value not equal or not equal negative one um, what is the thing to say Okay, so let's try this. Filter value not equal negative one dot length. I know there's a better way to do that. Uh, I guess we'll say <laughs> let's do this. Uh, equal 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 row right length. So this is the happy case. Has winner equals true. Great. Uh, we also want to check the column, so we'll say, um, I guess, board uh, four, let i equal zero. Um, I less than uh, board zero dot length, i plus plus. Um, this is just kind of going from left to right. Um, or actually, why don't we do this? Um, hmm. uh, four dot four each row. values dot push row I and this is slightly ugly code but I don't really care great um, looks like no good um, okay. Okay. Mm, we see some undefined and not in numbers, which is not what I expected. Um, For each row, call values dot push row i Why do we have any not a number 
boxes in there. That's sort of weird, right? Something fishy going on. Let me test the, something. Something's wrong here. In part because we don't have an answer, and in part because uh, we're seeing some bad data. Um, I'm gonna sip my tea for a second. Let's just read this. So, board dot for each row. So why don't we just say console log checking row row. That's weird. Hmm. Twenty two, eleven, thirteen, six. Okay, well we do have some negative ones in there. Uh, okay, let's also just do console log board. So we gotta get those kind of numbers out of there. Um, so let's go all the way back to the beginning. If we comment out all of this, yeah, what, are, what is that not a number doing in there? Um, Those are my guesses. Okay, wait. Okay, there we go. No more non numbers in there. So let's bring all that back. Let's see. Uh. Still not finding a winner, though. Winter board else console log no winner in board. Alright, so we should be able to spot check this. Alright, so like if we um, maybe we'll say console log guessing. Let's just, uh, like, here's the whole sequence of events, right? Uh, so first we guess seven. Um, interestingly, we have a seven here that probably should have been um, replaced with a negative one, right? No? Right? Um... Maybe we should say guessing boards each board, board for each row, row, row for each value. If value. Oh, <laughs> hold on. This should be row value index, shouldn't it? Uh, okay, hold on. Uh, okay. Um, I think, all right, I think I know what's going on here. So. Uh, import uh, ex exit <laughs> from this is horrible. I don't, this is a bad idea, but whatever. Um, exit. All right, let's just exit as soon as we find a winner. Um, that didn't work. Oh, did it work? I think it did work. 
Yeah, great. Okay. Let's get rid of this. Uh, let's go back to the node watch version. Clean up some of the console logging. I think, I think we have it. Now we just need to calculate the score. Uh, so we found our winner and we just need to um, do this thing. All right, so shall so we find the sum of all unmarked numbers on that board? So we'll say console log score. Let score equals calculate score board and guess. All right, so const calculate score board board guess number number turn three and the um sure um sure again sure uh sorry find the sum of all un unmarked numbers so let sum equals zero board for each row row for each value if uh, value greater than negative one sum plus equal value then multiply that sum by that number that's just called with the board one so we'll say return sum times guess Let's see what we get I think we need to just move this up. I thought it would get hoisted, but I guess maybe I'm confused, but whatever. Um, all right, four, five, one, two. No. Oh, right, sorry, that was the test. <laughs> okay, hold on. That was, that was goofy. All right, one more time, three, four, five, or six. Forty-five seconds to wait. All right. Well, I guess I'll sip my tea, or maybe I'll start organizing this a little bit. Um, right. So we'll say const part one equals. And then we'll call the function. Okay. Three, four, five, or six. Let's try one more time. Yeah. All right, great. So movement to part two. On the other hand, it might be wise to try a different strategy. Let the giant squid win. Okay, so instead of first, we want to find the last. Um, interesting. Well, well, now that we have two parts, we don't want to do the exit thing, because then it'll just stop, <laughs> which is not what we want, uh, which is fine. Um, so I think I'll just say, well, why don't we do this? Why don't we, um, I mean, really, what if we just get rid of the exit, right? And let that run. Uh, right, so, uh, Let's see. Why is there so much output here? Um, oh, I 
I see. Um, so hold on. So we want to do something like uh, yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna temporarily commit this. So on, let's go back. To, let's go back to this. And I'm just gonna temporarily commit it so I don't like lose it. And we'll clean it up later. So day one, part one, and then let's figure out how to tweak this for um, part two. So basically, what we want to do is say, um, uh, I guess I'll say part two. Let win uh, winning boards uh, is going to be basically an array of numbers. And if board has winner, uh, we will say um, this, and then we'll say winning boards push board index, and and uh, winning boards dot index of. Um, board index equal equal negative one and I guess now we want to still push this we'll say console log score for board board index is score All right, so we get 7686 six as our last one. So let's try it. Yeah. All right, great. So let me clean this up real quick. Um, happy about that, doing that in 27 minutes. Ooh, uh, very cool. But can we make, can we have both of them in the same file? How do we write this? Uh, I mean, I guess, um, I mean, this is, this is day one and then this is day two, um, so I mean maybe uh, we do something like something fancy where we're like uh, um, we'll say like if winning boards dot length is one. Then we'll say console.log part one and score. Else if winning boards.length equal equal uh, boards.length, we'll say part two. And this needs to become main. All right, that. Uh, looks right to me. So just gonna amend this and uh, push up. But uh, thank you for watching. Oh wait, that commit message is not right. Uh, so we'll say not day one and day four solution. All right, bye.